To begin to draw the gopher turtle, let's plan where we're gonna put our turtle. So if you think of your, your hand as the actual shell of the turtle, and we're gonna be making our gopher turtle horizontally on our page. So the horizontal line will face closer to our tummy. And so this, my hand is gonna actually be where I want my shell to be. So it's, and we probably don't want it to be too low because then I'll have some sky here. I'm gonna kind of put it in the middle and this is going to be where my head will be for the turtle. So this is my plan. I have almost equal distance top and bottom. And I'm just gonna put a straight line and that's where I want my back to be. Just a guideline. Remember, artists use guidelines to help them plan their picture. And this is the beginning of my guide, our guidelines. Now let's determine, and I'm gonna jump down about two fingers, and I'm gonna determine the two endpoints for my turtle shell. So this will be an endpoint here, and then I'm gonna come around here and do an endpoint here. When you do these plan lines, that lets you visualize where your turtle will actually be. And then we're good to go and we can start in on our body. And we're gonna be doing a side view gopher turtle. And a side view is called a profile. So this is going to be a number one right here. And look, the number one is wider than the width of my finger. So that's a pretty good size one right there. From there, I'm going to go and I'm going to just connect with a slight curve to the top of my guideline. And I'm going to come across. Now I want to match up. If I take this back end, I'm going to visually go across the here and I'm going to do an, the number one to match. And then I'm going to bring my curve down. That's the back of the turtle. From here, now we're not erasing. I hear some of my fourth graders wanting to erase, but we're not erasing. If you don't like something, redraw that line. For example, watch, I can redraw this, and this line will not show in the end. After I color it in, paint it in, decorate it, add pattern, add texture, my lines disappear. If they don't disappear, then I can always transform these lines into something else. <laughs> next step. We're going on to the next body part, the head. Come over di horizontally. I'm coming over about two fingers. Horizontal, if it's not two, just extend your line. And then I'm gonna drop down with a slight curve because I want the head to be slightly curved. Up in this corner here, this is going to be our head. I'm going to make a slight curve down and over just for some texture details, some grooves in the head. Next to that, I am going to do a arched curve, a small arched curve. And inside of that, the letter V. And you can get, kind of guess what this is. This is going to be the eye of the turtle. And I'm going to go ahead and color in this eye area. From here, I'm going to come over and I'm slightly curving up and then slightly curving down. You want to make sure that this line comes over quite a bit. This is the mouth line and it, just so it reaches past the eye where the eye begins. And I'm gonna give some detail in his eye. I'm just gonna do a curved line down and another curved line or diagonal line here. Just giving some detail for the face. Now I'm gonna think about a backwards letter C curve, small backwards letter C. And I'm gonna bring this over horizontally. And I'm going slightly down, horizontally down. I'm going to do a 
I want to, this was a finger. I want to drop down from the top of my turtle shell. I'm going to measure four fingers wide. So the width of four fingers. And look, you want to make sure, don't get real tight to the fingers. You want to make sure you come down a little bit. And I'm going to slowly connect my shell. Connect, connect. Don't worry about erasing. We're, we're adjusting our view here. We have a live fourth grade class and we went off the page for them. There. And actually these kids have, uh, outside of their classroom, they have a live uh, gopher turtle living, just like mine in my, uh, at the end of my driveway. Um, in Florida here, there's a lot of li long leaf pine trees for habitat. Okay, let's curve it this way backwards. See? A slight backwards curve. And then come down straight. Now, these, tur these legs are pretty thick. I'm gonna, we're going to show part of the tummy. So I'm going to go uh, follow this curve over, over and then stop when you get to almost two fingers wide. Part of the tummy is going to come around. These tortoise, tortoises like uh, those long needle pine trees. And these gopher tortoises live in what, what are those big holes called in the ground? They're called a what? Yes? A, a, bur, a burrow. And next step, one line and another line. Slight curves. Now notice these are farther apart here and here. Now I'm going to go down, a slight curve down, and then slightly curve it over. And their little toes are just short little, kind of like V's their claw or their nail part. It's just a tougher area at the end of their foot so they can dig that claw. Because these gopher turtles are pretty good uh, digger. They can dig well because they burrow down deep. Okay, this leg is gonna be backwards. Come curve it down and then a small straight line. Near the back, I'm, I'm near this number one on this end. I'm curving round, equaling up. This is down and around, equaling up to the bottom. And then I'm kind of giving a slight curve and giving some of these toe, cl these claw shaped toes here. And this gopher turtle, what, what does the gopher turtle eat? What classification do you remember? Yes. Um, over 300 types of plants in Florida and this gopher turtle is a what? Omnivore, herbivore, what is he? Yes. Okay, the next step, we're going to add some texture into his shell and we're just going to add some pattern. Come down, around. And we're going to do the same here, straight line down, diagonal, diagonal, and I'm just going to give some little patterning area for some line. And then you can connect them. And when you connect them, so basically I follow the shape of the shell, I follow these lines, and then connect them alternating. Now, what is the name you named, the, this class named their turtle? Snappy. Okay, they called him Snappy. Now, what color is Snappy shell? Like, oh. It's like brown. It's brown. It's white. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, one. Brown and green. Brown and green. Okay. Brown and, white. and actually, on Snappy, um, we saw him the other day. He walked right outside the art room, but on the turtle that lives at our school, he actually has some white scars on the back of him. Uh, he is. Snappy is a very light brownish gray color, uh, blending right in with the Florida sands. And does Snappy have a tail? Yes. yes. 
His tail could be hiding back in here. If you want to stick a tail on Snappy, just do a small kind of sideways V. And now, now to finish off the tortoise, the gopher turtle rather, let's add just some land lines to show he's kind of walking around in the dirt. And I'm doing these gentle curves. I'm not putting a lot of, I'm kind of doing it free form, kind of going sloping down, sloping up. And then I'll slope here just to show some land or the sand. And then you can of course put some blades of grass. And when you do blades of grass, grass is one of the gopher turtles uh, food sources. You can do grasses going in different directions and different heights, some tall, some short. Of course, as the grass gets closer to us in the foreground, and I'm gonna get, do some overlapping, our, the grass gets bigger. And of course, our tortoise, our gopher turtle here is quite large in the front. How, if you had to estimate, and raise your hand for this, uh, our snappy turtle that lives at school is what? What would you estimate for the, the length of his shell? Oh. Only the shell, yes, what would you estimate? I'd say a foot, is he centimeter? Oh. He, he could, I would say Snappy's about a foot. Yeah, I would say you're pretty much right. Um, his shell may be a little bit, his shell may be a little bit smaller than a foot, but we all know that because the gopher turtle is endangered in Florida, are, are you allowed to touch this turtle? No. 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 You know, you cannot touch the turtle, no. Um, and if you're ever to build a house, you have to in alert the authorities about the turtle living it where you are building, and you have to relocate that turtle. You have to work with the government agencies to relocate those turtles um, because their homes are protected. Uh, does somebody know some facts about the gopher turtles? Um, what does, say the turtle abandons its, its hole and house, what happens then? Uh, I know. Yes? Other animals might use it. Yes, that's what happens to the gopher turtles. Other animals come in and they use the turtle's holes. That's really cool. I have some kids here from fourth grade. We have probably about, how many kids are in this class? Probably about 30, 32? because we're lucky enough to have a class and a half in this art class, right? Yay! We get two classes for art. Here's some of the kids' uh, artwork that just made the video with us. And I'll show you three examples. And I hope you learned a little bit about Florida gopher turtles. And I hope that you have fun making your turtle at home.